Hi folks, my name is Matthew Harrison. I'm a scientist at the Tasmanian Institute of Agriculture. Here I'm just going to explain what APSIM is and why you would use it. So there's a number of different functions for which you can use APSIM uh, and the idea of this webinar is to be as brief as possible. So what is it used for? Uh, it's used for point-based simulation, so it doesn't do regional areas unless you do a bunch of individual points. So it's used for things like climate, effects of climate on crop growth, climate change, long-term historical climates, you know, you can do within season, so month to month, uh, within a crop, for example, or long-term simulations, for example, a 100-year simulation. It's got a detailed component on soil water, so you can look at things like infiltration, evaporation, drainage, runoff, and there's a big, uh, APSIM is primarily driven by soil physical characteristics, and that can be a simple tipping bucket mechanism or the Richards equation which is a bit more detailed so that uses things like drained upper limit hydraulic conductivity and you can look at how soils might affect crop growth. Soil nutrients, uh, it has a, a detailed soil component uh, module, soil, com uh, soil carbon, sorry, soil carbon slash nitrogen module and that has components including denitrification, nitrogen immobilization, mineralization, effects of C to N ratios, nutrient cycling. We have plant and genotype traits, so you can look at the effect of phenology, for example, leaf size or leaf width, a detailed look at grain components or number uh, on ultimate yield uh, in different environments or under different management conditions. It's got many different crop types, and so there's just a few examples there, wheat, barley, chickpeas, maize, potato, fodder beet, and many different crop types, well designed for different crop modules. Good for looking at crop systems rotations, yield, farm systems effects on, uh, for example, if you sow wheat, followed by barley, followed by canola, so you can look at rotational effects. Grazing systems, uh, so it's got a, a detailed animal component module in there, uh, and that's being built on as I create this, so that's things, you can use that to look at things like livestock stocking rate, genotype, supplementary feeding grazing, uh, even dairy systems, uh, the interaction of grazing and cropping systems as well. There's also management components, so sowing time, effects of cultivation, fertiliser rates, irrigation rates and timing, a defoliation. There's also a, a, a tree module in there, so what's the effect of planting trees on crops or tree growth per se. Uh, of course you can look at genotype by environment by management interactions. That's all I wanted to say in this webinar. Thanks for watching. If you want more detail, please click on or see that link at, at the bottom there. Thanks and see you next time.